Hi, and thanks for joining me. This is Aida Awad. Today we're going to go through how to make an ePortfolio template in one domain and then share it with another domain. So this would be applicable if you were making an ePortfolio template for students and your students were in a different Google Apps domain than your faculty and staff. You would need to actually make the template in your own domain, share it with another Gmail account outside of your domain, save it as a template there after making a copy of it. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that. So I've already made a site here. Obviously, there's nothing in it, but that doesn't matter. made the site in my education domain. And very simply, I'm going to click on More and then Manage Site. And here is where I'm going to share this site. could have also clicked on Share, of course. I'm going to share this site with my own personal Gmail account. So I'm moving it outside of the, the education domain. And the key here is that I want to make myself, the person I'm sharing this with, I want to make that person also an owner on the site. You need to make that other person an owner, that other account an owner, in order for them to copy the site and then make a template of it. So now that I've added my other Gmail account in, said is owner, I'm going to go ahead and click on share and save. Yes, I want to share it. I know it's outside the domain. And good, I'm ready to go here. So now I can go back to that site and I can go to my other account, which I'm already logged into here. And I've already got an email saying, ah, there was a site shared with you. Here it is. I'm going to go ahead and open that. Once I've opened it, once again, go to more and then manage site. And what I want to do here is I want to make a copy of this site because I still don't have the ability to make a template of it. So on the general page, you see general here on the left side, on the general page, you see copy this site. So I'm going to click on that button. It's essentially making a new site, so I'll need to choose a name for it. So I put in a new name for it, which has a URL that I hope will work, and I'm going to click on create site. Okay, so it's creating our site, and this is the site that we're actually going to save as a template. And then we'll just grab the link to that template site, and we'll share that out with the students. And then when the students are ready to make their ePortfolios, then they can go ahead and go to that URL, and that will give them access to the template. So we're going back to more, one more time, and we're going back to manage site. And you can see now, if we scroll down here, now we have in the center of our screen, publish this site as a template. So this is what we want to click on. Okay, so here on this screen, we have to enter a little bit of information about our template. It shows the template author. We are going to put in a name, so we're going to call this the ePortfolio class template. And I'll just put site as well. And then we're going to put a description. So class template for students ePortfolios. That's good enough. We can continue on to select a category that this would go into. So uh, maybe we want to select a category, but we don't necessarily need to do that. So we're going to go ahead and click on Submit. And it is saving our site now as a template. All right, you can see up at the top you have a blue bar that said, this site is in the template gallery. Any changes you make to the website will be made for all users on the template. So if someone uses this template after you've made a change on it, that will be pushed out to them. We can go back to the site itself, which is now a template. And we can copy the URL. And that's the URL that we're going to provide to our students when they're ready to set up their templates for their ePortfolios. All they need to do is go to that URL. So let's see how this works. I'm going to actually go ahead and copy that. And I'm going to go back into my other account and open a new tab. I'll paste in the URL. It's going to the site. 
And you can see that we have a choice here now to use this template. So when the student clicks on use this template, that's where they begin to build out their own ePortfolio site. Thanks for joining me today. Hope this was useful. Bye-bye.